Apologies, this may be a little jumbled. If you want more info, I put a much fuller video, but here I'm going to go into some fairly dark speculation and literally black speculation, not as in black people, but black ops or covert ops. Now, Scientology is a very paranoid, secretive, conspiratorial organization, but is it working with the FBI and or the CIA? There have been rumors since Hubbard even controlled the organization that it's always been monitoring and selling secrets. So it could just be bluntly, Hubbard wanted money, he was willing to work with intelligence agencies, and so on and so forth. But is modern Scientology working with the CIA or other agencies around the world? Well, there's reasons to suspect this is true, and we're looking at the case of Nora Aim, a young Scientologist who, according to herself, was put in charge of Tom Cruise's children. She also monitored Lisa Presley's child, Riley. And again, to her, she's like sort of a victim of Scientology. But here's where it gets very problematic and interesting. She's had multiple identities, and her story doesn't quite fit in terms of dates and in terms of intention of how she got into Scientology and got out of it. Her family background is quite literally a very spy background. Her parents were in what's known as the Guardian's Office, which is essentially kind of a spy dirty tricks department within Scientology, while Hubbard was in it. The Guardian's Office later became OSA, which is in charge of propaganda, surveillance. They've been caught many times, even in legal cases, clearly attacking and harassing people. So is Nora a victim or is she a super secret spy? Well, here's the problem. She did go public and the articles try to verify her story. But again, we have to depend on her testimony. So it's a little tricky. But here's what's more interesting. And this is pretty astonishing. She did a few interviews and one interview. Again, that's not the only one. Several interviews have gone missing. You can't find them. They've been edited or they're private. So a lot of information on her is now missing. But the Lip TV interview is astonishing. Lip TV had over 300,000 subscribers. And magically, her interview went away. Now, of course, this is the internet, so it is archived in a few places. And I did find little bits and pieces here and there. So excerpts of the interview are still available. But the full interview, it is gone, at least on the official Lip TV channel, because the channel just went away. Now, if you know being a YouTuber and being online, Trying to build an audience of 300,000 subscribers is not easy, and apparently this channel decided to destroy itself just to get rid of the interview. And this is real. The interview did happen. I'm putting up a lot of screenshots to verify this did happen. So why would they go through all the trouble to get rid of an interview with Nora Ames if she's just a really low-level Scientologist? She's not that extraordinary. Yeah, she has that weird spy background, but that's her parents. So... It could be we're jumping to conclusions, but this is moving a lot of pieces just to get a, rid of a lot of information about this one woman. So who exactly is she? She's got all these multiple identities. She has this very weird, suspicious background, and she says she had contact with these high Scientology celebrities. So it could just be bluntly that Scientology is working with the government just for money or protection, because again, Miscavige has been the subject of many, many lawsuits. But almost nothing really happens. They have to pay a few damages here and there. Scientology has lost a few court cases, but the senior leadership, they've never, ever been prosecuted. Ever. So you think to yourself, why are they immune to challenge? Well, again, it could just be bluntly simple. Miscavige is trading secrets, giving them information, and or letting Scientology be used for various purposes, right? Because it's real simple. Again, if the CIA does something officially, it can be monitored. You can get information from it. But if it's working with Scientology, it's technically not doing anything. It's a private organization, which is a religious organization, which gets a lot of protection. Again, I don't really have answers here. I'm just posing a lot of questions because a lot of information is missing. So it could just be a kind of weirdo sex money scandal that Nora is hiding. If that is the case with Scientology, it is bad, but it's kind of ordinary. Or it could be she let slip some dark secrets in that interview, and that interview needs to go away. Like, you cannot allow that into the public. Because how would you do that? Well, just get rid of the channel. But why would you get rid of the channel? Don't know. I mean, that is very insane that you get rid of such a big channel and just overnight decide it's gone. It's gone. 
And Nora has not totally gone away. She still has a YouTube channel under a new name. And she still puts out her content. But guess what? Even some of her old own content has gone away. So it's all very weird. So what exactly is her real story? What are her ties to Scientology? Again, the public record here seems to be not entirely true. But again, I don't know the answers. All we have are questions that a lot of information is missing. But why is it missing? I don't know. But we can suspect the worst, that she's not who she appears to be. And Scientology may be more than just, quote, a bad religious cult. It could be doing much more dirty black ops behind the scenes.